Hello, I'm teacher Didi. Today we are going to study chapter 6, Light and Optics, Physics from 4, chap Subtitle 6.6, .6, Image Formations by Spherical Mirror. There are three types of mirror, plane mirror, which you have learned in lower form under the science subject, concave mirror and convex mirror. This is the concave mirror, this is a convex mirror, which is our focus for today's lesson. Visions Field of visions in front of plane mirror, concave mirror, and convex mirror. As you can see from the diagram, concave mirror have very, very narrow field of vision, followed by the plane mirror, while convex mirror have the widest field of vision. How to form the spherical mirror? Concave mirror and convex mirror is considered as a spherical mirror. Spherical mirror is formed when you cut a sphere from a hollow glass field. There is two surfaces. When you coated a layer outside the surface, where that means the reflecting surface inside, that means you will, then you will get the concave mirror. If you coated a layer in the in inner surface, that means the reflecting surface is outside, then you'll get the convex mirror. Light ray hit on the reflecting surface will focus at a point, which we call it focal point. As you can see, convex mirror have the reflecting surface outside. When the light ray hit to the surface, it seems like it focus at the point behind the mirror. All the ray will be diverged. Terminology of curved mirror. Concave mirror and convex mirror is a sphere formed from a hollow glass. C is a center of curvature. Actually, it is a center of the sphere that form the mirror. R is the radius of the curvature. P is a pole, means the center of the mirror. CP is a principal axis. This is the reflective surface. That means this is the concave mirror. The reflective surface is outside. That means this is the convex mirror. Terminology. Center of curvature C, the center of sphere of the mirror. Principal axis, the connecting line from the center of curvature to the point P. Radius of curvature CP, the distance between the center of curvature and the surface of the mirror. Focal point F, the focal point of the concave mirror is the point on the principal axis where all the reflecting ray meet and converge. The light ray, parallel with principal axis, hit on the surface, it will meet at a point. We call it focal point. The focal point of the convex mirror is a point on the principal axis where all the reflected ray appear to diverge from behind the mirror. Light ray seems focused at the point behind the mirror. Then all the ray is diverged. Focal length F, the distance between the focal point and the surface of the mirror, equal to FP or half of CP. Focal length is FP or half of the CP. Object distance U, the distance between the object and the surface of the mirror. Image distance V, the distance between the image and the surface of the mirror. From the diagram, CP equal to the R. F is half of the R. So, relationship between the R and F is R equals to 2F or F is half of the R. Differences between the concave mirror. Ray travel parallel to the principal axis converge to a point. 
we call it focal point. Fp equals to focal point. Convex mirror, the ray travel parallel to the principal axis appear to diverge from a point behind the mirror called the focal point on the principal axis. Fp equal to focal length. How to construct the ray diagram for concave mirror? Rule number one, a light ray parallel to the principal axis is reflected through the F. Rule number two, a ray passing through the F is parallel to the principal axis. Rule number three, a ray passing through the C and bounces back along the same path through the C. These three rules, you, to construct the ray diagram, out of these three, you need to draw just two, or you can draw all the three. Ray to determine the image positions and characteristics of the image. Try to draw the ray diagram. Follow the rules mentioned. Rule number one, rule number two, and rule number three. How to construct the ray diagram for convex mirror? Rule number one. Light from object travel parallel to the principal axis reflected as it comes from the F. Rule number two, a light ray directed towards the F behind the mirror and is reflected parallel to the principal axis. Rule number three, a light ray directed towards the C behind the mirror is reflected along the same path away from the C. Follow these three rules to construct the ray diagram for convex mirror. You just need to draw two rules or three rules for the ray diagram. If you really draw the ray diagram, follow the rule mentions, then then you'll notice concave mirror, just like the convex lenses, it can produce six type of images when the object is placed at different positions. Convex mirror, same like the concave mirror, despite of the positions of the object, it just produces one type of images, always virtual, small and upright. I hope, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. See you next time. Thank you for watching.